welcome to today's chair yoga session. I'm delighted to have you with me. So we'll start by settling onto our chair or whatever surface you're using and then settling into our breath. So lift through the spine, shoulders relaxing down and back and have a sense of sinking into your body, becoming aware of how you feel, just what's going on for you today. So if you're comfortable too, let's close our eyes. If you prefer them open, of course, that's fine. I want to have a nice deep inhale together. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And keeping this nice, smooth, rhythmic breath throughout as much as you can. So we're going to look particularly at our joints today. So we're going to find some mobility or help to maintain or even increase the mobility through our joints. All right, so lifting through the spine, breath nice and relaxed. And we'll start by turning our head left to right. So inhale one way and then exhale the other way. Nice and smooth, eyes open or closed as you wish. Next time you come to center, we'll stay here. And I'd like you to drop your chin down towards your chest. Keep the rest of your body lifting up, just your head dropping. And then our head like a pendulum. So inhale, lift your chin up towards one shoulder. Exhale your chin down and up towards the other shoulder. Repeat smoothly with your breath. Inhale one way, exhale the other way. Next time your chin comes down, leave it there and gently lift your head back to centre. Let everything settle. I'd like us to get some movement through the spine just to get some energy flowing here. So as you inhale, lift your chest, exhale, round the spine. You probably need to come forward on your chair a little bit so you've got space behind you. So inhale, lift, exhale, round. So as we move the spine, we're also tipping the pelvis forward as we inhale and lift. Tipping the pelvis back as we round. And stay at centre. So we'll come to our shoulders where a lot of us hold some tension. So I'd like you to make gentle fists with your hands. Relax your arms down alongside you. And then we're going to circle our arms. As you inhale, draw them forwards and up. Exhale, take them back and down. So inhale, forwards and up. Exhale, back and down. Repeating with your breath, nice and smooth. And then we'll change direction. Inhale, take them back, up. Exhale, forwards and down. And relax. Bring your hands back to your thighs. Let your shoulders drop. And now we're going to make fists with our hands in front. So really tighten the fists. So clench the fists tight, tight, tight. Hold that position as you breathe. Nice and relaxed. And then we're going to flick the hands open. Hold here. So feel your fingers are really stretched. Hold this position as you breathe. And then we'll tighten into fists again. Really grip the fists and then we'll flick. Hold that position and we'll do one more round. Make tight fists and then flick. Hold the position. All right, so I want you to take hold of your thumb, your left thumb with your right hand. Just give it a little pull and a wiggle and then we'll circle the thumb and change direction. And then we'll take hold of the index finger, give it a little pull and a bit of a jiggle. And then we'll circle the finger. 
and change direction. The nice big circles. And then to our middle finger, give it a pull, a bit of a jiggle. And then we'll circle the middle finger. And change direction. And then onto the ring finger, give it a little pull and a bit of a jiggle. And then circle. And change direction. And then onto our little finger, give it a pull, a bit of a jiggle. And then circle it. And change direction. And then moving to the other hand, so take hold of your right thumb, your left hand, give it a pull and a bit of a jiggle. And then we'll circle the thumb and change. And then moving on to your index finger, give it a pull, a bit of a jiggle, and then circle. And change direction. to the middle finger, give it a pull, a bit of a jiggle, and then circle. Change direction. And onto the ring finger, give it a pull, a bit of a jiggle, and circle. And change. And then onto the little finger, give it a bit of a pull, jiggle and circle and change good and relax and then interlock your hands I want you to tighten I want you to really squeeze your hands in together and then relax stay in the same position but nice and relaxed and now move your fingers across once. So you probably went to the way you always go to start with. We, we tend to do that. So now I want you to move to the place that isn't quite natural. Give the fingers a squeeze. Tight, tight, tight. And then relax. Good. Come back to your original position. And then we'll circle at the wrists. And change direction. Move the fingers along one, clasp again, and circle. And change direction. Good, and now relax. So now I want you to support your upper left arm with your right hand, and then we'll circle the elbow. So feel your hands moving as far as it can so the circle is initiated at the elbow. And then change direction. Good. And then to the other side, left hand holding right upper arm and circle the right hand from the elbow. And change direction. to your thighs, let's just settle the breath, feel your shoulders dropping, nice deep breaths. And we'll bring our fingertips to our shoulders, we're going to circle the shoulders again, this time with the fingertips to the shoulders. So inhale, elbows forwards and up, exhale them back and down. And then we'll change direction. Inhale, elbows back and up. Exhale, forwards and down. And relax. Let the hands rest on your thighs, shoulders dropping. 
So now we're going to lift and lower the shoulders with the breath. Inhale, lift both shoulders up. And exhale, I want you to drop them. And then inhale, lift them up, squeeze. Exhale, drop. One more, inhale, lift and squeeze. And exhale, drop. Let everything relax. And we'll come back to turning our head from left to right. Inhale one way and exhale the other way. And then stay at centre and we'll move down to our legs and hips. So I'd like you to bring your both hands around your right knee. If you struggle to reach your right knee here, use a scarf or strap and you can pop it underneath your right thigh and hold the ends of the scarf, okay? So holding underneath the thigh, inhale here, exhale, squeeze your knee in towards you. So you can hold under your thigh or around the knee, whatever feels more natural, or of course your scarf. So each exhale, squeezing in, Inhale, release a little. And then we'll stay squeezed in, hold the position, check your shoulders are relaxed. Keep squeezing the knee in, and I want you to just hold it with your right hand now, relax your left hand down, and we're going to circle the right knee, circles as big as you can. So you could be holding both ends of your scarf with one hand, just your right hand. and then we'll change direction. And relax, place your right foot down, scarf underneath your left thigh or holding under your left thigh or around your knee where it feels natural and comfortable. Inhale here, exhale, squeeze your knee in towards you. Inhale away, exhale, squeeze, and repeat with your breath. And we'll keep it squeezed in this time. Check your shoulders are relaxed. And then bring your right hand down, holding both ends of your scarf with your left hand or your knee with your left hand. And we'll circle as big circles as you can. And change direction. Centre, place your foot back down, let everything settle. So now we're going to circle the upper body. So we're going to inhale as we come forwards, exhale as we go back. So again, you're going to need some space behind you. So if you're not already, come shuffle forward a little bit on your chair. And then we'll change direction. And relax. Good. So we'll come back to the right leg. I'd like you to place your right foot on your left knee. Okay? I hope this is comfortable for you. If it's not, maybe you could come onto your chair if that works better for you, that's fine. And just let the body settle here, either position. Just feel that gentle stretch. If you're not feeling a stretch yet, let your upper body come forward until you reach your stretch. Let your head drop, let everything relax. Check your head, really let go. gently lift your upper body okay so with the right foot on the left knee we're going to circle the right foot so nice big circles and then change direction so if your foot is here I suggest you now take your scarf or hands under your thigh you can circle the foot here that would be fine And then 
relax. So we're going to give the toes a little bit of attention. They often get missed out in yoga classes. So we're going to do similar to we did with our fingers. So I want you to take hold of the big toe and give it a bit of a pull. And then we'll circle, so hold the foot, circle the big toe. And change direction. And then come to the second toe, give it a bit of a pull. And then we'll circle the second toe, nice big circles. And change direction. And then onto the third toe, give it a pull. And then circle the middle toe, third toe. And change direction. And then onto the fourth toe, give it a pull. And then circle. Not expecting there to be much movement here, just whatever there is. And then change direction. And relax onto the little toe, give it a bit of a pull. And then circle. And change direction. And relax. Good. Place your foot down. And then bring your left foot onto your right knee. So find that comfortable position. If you prefer to the chair, of course that's fine. Let the body settle, either stay where you are, if that feels far enough, or let your upper body ease downward. Let your head drop, shoulders soft, just let go. Gently lift your upper body, and then we'll circle the foot. So either here, or you can be clasping and circling here. big circles and then change direction and relax so taking hold of your big toe hold your hand with sorry hold your foot with the other hand give your big toe a bit of a pull and then circle it and change direction And then to the second toe, give it a pull, a bit of a squeeze and a pull, and then circle it. And change. And then onto the third toe, give it a pull, squeeze and a pull, and then circle it. And change direction. the fourth toe, give it a squeeze and a pull, and then circle it, and change direction, and onto our little toe, give it a squeeze and a pull, and circle, and change. your foot down, just let your body settle, nice deep breaths. And then we'll let the upper body fold forward, so drop your head and then let the rest of your upper body follow your head down into your forward fold, easing down, head dropped, hands can stay on your thighs, holding your chair, down the legs of your chair or to the feet, to the ground, wherever you reach comfortably and just let go.
and then easing back up, uncurl your spine, lift your upper body, good. So I'm going to come back to the hips and the legs. So I want you to, as you inhale, take your right big toe out to the right, exhale it back. Inhale, left big toe out, exhale back. And repeat with your breath. This time when you bring your right big toe out, hold that position. Have your foot out to the right and then turn your body to the right and relax your upper body towards your right thigh. Let your head drop. Gently lift back up, bring your right foot back and then left foot out. Turn your body to the left and relax your upper body down with here. Let your head drop. Gently lift your upper body. Bring your foot back to centre. Shoulders relaxed. And we'll come back to our head, our neck. So inhale, turn your head one way. Exhale the other way. And repeat with your breath. and stay at centre. So we're going to come to a twist position. So I want you to cross your right leg over your left leg. Cross it all the way over as much as it will. We're going to use the left hand to draw the right thigh in towards us. So see that movement, drawing the thigh in as much as it will. Bring your right hand behind you. You can hold your chair or support it to the seat of the chair. And then inhale, lift up through the spine. Exhale, turn your body to the right, look back over your right shoulder, nice deep breaths. And then bring your gaze forward, body forward, relax your foot back to the surface beneath you. And then hands to the thighs, we'll come back to centre, inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, round the spine. And relax. So cross your left leg over the right leg. Use your right hand to encourage the thigh in towards you. Left hand behind you. Inhale, lift through the spine. Get that lengthening. And then exhale, turn to the left. Look back over your shoulder. Check your shoulders and relax. Inhale, bring your gaze forward. Exhale, body forward. Place your foot back down. And we'll come back to flexing the spine, getting some energy in the spine. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. And we'll stay at centre. We'll just have a few nice deep breaths to close. Eyes open or closed as you wish. Inhale as you expand, feel the body opening. Exhale as you release even deeper. Nice smooth breathing. Feel your shoulders drop with each exhale. So if you're comfortable to lay down in Shavasana, do pop on one of the videos that you'll see coming up here for Shavasana. Or you could lay on your bed or on your sofa, or you could sit and imagine your whole body sinking and releasing. So still getting that precious Shavasana time at the end of your practice. All right, thank you so much for joining, and I look forward to our next session together very soon. Namaste.